All right, guys, I'm here. Uh, this is uh, out of the my realm of computer repairs. Um, but I figured I might do, might as well do it. Um, I had to go through this. Uh, bought my son an Xbox 360 Slim 4 gigabyte model. Um, I think it was two years ago or a year ago or whatever. And it doesn't have an internal hard drive. It has 4 gigs of flash memory. Which is fine for any other game. And then you can you know, use thumb drives to save your games and whatnot. But we bought them Battlefield 4 this Christmas. And... You can't play it. It says here. See if I can get that zoomed in. Hard drive sold separately for Xbox 364 gigabyte original Xbox arcade uh, core consoles. So you have to have an internal hard drive, um, which obviously I just said the four gigabyte one does not. So. <clears throat> I had bought him, um, I had purchased a hard drive caddy for the Xbox 360 Slim on eBay um, around the same time I bought this, so about a year or two to a year ago, um, because I was going to upgrade the hard drive so that he could have an internal, this is before, an internal hard drive, this is before this was even announced or even came out, uh, so... I just wanted him to have a larger hard drive instead of using the USB thumb drives. Um, so what I did is I ordered a caddy, and now I'll walk to my kitchen where I have that. <clears throat> okay, so this is the caddy I purchased for him. It's for a 250 gigabyte hard drive. His is empty. Let's see if I can... Okay, so it comes just like this. Okay. This is all it is. I bought this, and I think... I don't remember, this might have came from China, <coughs> but um, I think I paid like five bucks. And this fits perfectly in there, okay? So in order to play this on an Xbox 360 Slim with a four gigabyte model, you need a hard drive. Well, I don't want to sit there and try to flash and waste my time doing that. Because then I have to spend the money on a Western Digital hard drive, I got to wait for that to come in. And that's just a lot of waiting, and I wanted him to use his Christmas present and be able to play it. So, I uh, did some research on YouTube, and I, I had I knew about this when I bought the Xbox 360 Slim that you were, um, at that time, I was told that you could use a, an Xbox 360 original hard drive in your Slim, and it would work. Uh, the thing is, is that Microsoft puts a security sector in the hard drives that they use in their Xbox 360s. Okay, so that's why you would have to flash it on a Western Digital. And from what I learned on YouTube um, and Googling and hours of wasted time, it only works with a Western Digital. And you have to flash Hitachi's firmware so that everything works just fine blah 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 waste of freaking time for me 60 gig hard drive is more than enough we bought him a 32 gig thumb drive so he can save his games on that he also had an 8 gig so that's an extra 40 gigabytes of storage space so with a 60 that's 100 gigs he you know he's he's a kid he's not you know he doesn't have a freaking job, so he's not going to be buying games for himself and, or, or, you know, downloading anything that I don't allow him to download. So, I looked up online. I did play and trade. That's what we have here in Michigan. And uh, GameStop. Uh, well, in GameStop, they had it on their website that they did have some of these available, but limited quantities. So, I went to my local GameStop. It was a 60 gig hard drive. Even the guy told me, you know, just take it out of this case, pop it into your uh, 360 Slim, and you're good to go. Now, I've watched other videos where they say that this is, they somehow think that whatever is in here is a custom piece of hardware that is like, air quotes, a laptop hard drive. Well, it is a laptop hard drive. It's just that Microsoft puts flashes in a sector of security so that you can't just throw in any hard drive that you want in it. 
Okay, that's how Microsoft works, and that's, you know, that's how they do it. That's their decision. Okay, so I went and bought this thing. I paid uh, $30 for the 60 gig. Um, I removed the security sticker here because, well, I'm not going to need a warranty for it because I... I had already installed it. I just removed everything. I figured, you know what the heck, I need to make a video on this. Okay, so these are supposed to be T6's Torx 6 uh, bits, okay? Uh, since this was a refurbished one, whoever did this stripped them out a little bit, so now they're, uh, the T7 fits it a little bit better, so it's not just gliding around in there. And then you have four of them, okay? So you have the four right there, and then once you remove this, uh, you are going to need a T10, and then that's going to remove, I don't even know if that's going to focus in, oh well, whatever, it's a T10 um, bit, Torx bit, and that's going to remove the four screws that hold your hard drive into place. Okay, this is very, very simple. You don't have to reflash, you don't have to tell your Xbox 360 Slim that anything. You don't have to reformat it, nothing. You just pop this sucker in. And once this babe, one once it's in, it, it, your Xbox 360 will automatically recognize it. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna try to do this one-handed. Um, pain in the butt, but hey, whatever. Okay, let's see if I can do this. All right. This might take longer than it'll take you because you'll have both of your hands free. Damn it. Alright, let me see if I can... Sorry for the super close-up or whatever, but I need to use my hand. And I don't want to pause because I want to, you know... There we go. One, two, let's flip this over. Let's do the two in the back. At least focus, damn it. There we go. At least not, now you're not looking at a blurry thing. So here we go. This is going to be the fourth and final one. And if you have an old one, if you have your old Xbox 360 and you just bought a Slim because you like the black look of it and whatever, then you can use that hard drive. I don't need this one, okay? There's So you start. I started from the back. Okay, and then just kind of... Pry it up, and the hard drive is actually on this part, so we can flip this over, and just kind of, I'm pushing it up to my stomach, and trying to break it free here, one handed is not easy, there we go, still have my button attached and whatnot, this will pop out, but whatever, alright, bit change, let's get the T10 into my little socket here. Okay. <clears throat> oh boy. Fun, fun. Okay, so then you remove these four. And again, I paid $30 for it. So altogether, $35, $37 with that caddy that I ordered a year ago. And just do a search on eBay or Amazon, whatever you prefer for Xbox 360 Slim Hard Drive Caddy. Um, and uh, you'll get some of those that pop up. And then some, you know, you'll find some that are 250 gig already installed in that little thing and uh, you could buy those. Um, but, you know, I don't, I don't, I sell on eBay. Um, I've been selling on eBay for a while, but it's just, it's sometimes it's really hard to trust people, you know, um, so I just decided just to buy the caddy, I don't, I, I rather do it myself, um, I like messing around with this crap, so, then you just lift this up, and slide it backwards a little bit, and it'll just come off, okay, so now you have this, you have your SATA connector here, and what you do is you just slide your hard drive back a little bit, Hold it down with your middle finger, sliding it backwards, and then you can use your index finger to see. SATA connector is really easy to uh, disconnect. So then, uh, one-handed, you just have to pry this back, okay? And then right here, you're gonna have to lift up the hard drive and push down on the gray part and slide it out. 
Okay, and there we go. Now we just leave that mess there. We'll take these two things here to my son's room. Turn the light on. Okay. Um, real quick, turn that on. <coughs> Room's a frickin' mess. Okay. So, to install this, we'll take a, take a look in here. Real quick, okay? Okay, so to pop this cover off, there's a, you could tell there because of the flashes hitting it, there's this little rectangle. So you just slide it forward and you get it out. And that is on the right side of the power button. Okay. So then if you take a peek in here, see if you can actually see that in there. See how there's, there's your, oh boy, this is very complicated to do. There it is your SATA connector right back there Let's see if I can get it to zoom in or focus on it there we go so there it is right there all right so the little one is on the left and the uh, and the big pin is on the right let me uh, turn this controller on so I can show you here let's just skip uh, login skip sign in <clears throat> okay and then, of course, it's going to have a 32 gig and an 8 gigabyte um, uh, stick. So, media, system settings, storage. Let's get it to focus. Okay. Storage. And then there you go. You have three devices so far. This is the internal memory of the unit. This is the 32 gig uh, thumb drive. And this is the 8 gigabyte thumb drive. Okay, so now... We'll just turn it off. Turn off the console. You have to have this powered off when you do this. You don't want to do it while it's on. Okay. So now we know this thing slides in like this. It only goes in one way. Okay. So this, we need the smaller head on the left. So you just kind of just gently set that in there. Okay. It sits in there and then you have your little tabs on the side. Throw those in. And then you just press them until you hear them click, okay? Now we just slide that into place. And you'll hear it click. I'll be quiet so you can hear it. That click, that's all you need to hear. Then we grab this little door. Put that back here. So there we go. And then to remove it, it's pretty cool. This little tab right here actually releases it. So it this, this tab works that little that little thing so once this pops um, pops in this will actually release it so let's pop this back in there and see if you can hear it again there you go that's all you need put this in like that close it okay let's put that right there let's turn this on Okay, there's the Xbox, splash screen, and then again we're going to skip the login here, we're going to skip the sign in, we're just trying, I'm just trying to show you the, <clears throat> that it works, um, and then hit the Xbox the button, settings, system settings, uh, let me get it to focus. Storage settings. And then hard drive. Yours won't say 47.6. It'll say 50 point something. This says 47.6 because we already installed Battlefield 4. And then let's actually let's throw the son of a bitch in there. Let's get what the heck is he putting? Okay, connect adventures. Uh, where did I leave it? I left it in the kitchen. Now I gotta go get it. Okay, so let me get the game. <sighs> ok, 
Okay. Fingerprint free. Good. He does take care of his games. That's good. Eject button. I don't know where the box is for the other game, but all right, here we go. Play game. Battlefield 4. And then if you don't, you know, if you don't want to buy uh, 60 gig, if I almost bought him just a 20 gig just because I knew he wasn't going to need 60 gigs of, uh, of space. But there you have it. It'll play that. There you go. I'm going to take that off of there. Let's turn off the console. So there you go. It works. Um, you know, uh, hope this helps. Like I said, that, that caddy, man, is so cheap. And then $30 for for the hard drive is just ridiculously cheap. Um, so yeah, there you go. Xbox 360 Slim. This is the matte finish. That's how you tell that this is the 4 gigabyte model. The uh, 250 gig model has a uh, piano finish, black piano finish. Sort of like, like this, you know. So, there you have it. Hope this helps. Um, any questions, comments, you know, whatever, put them down below. Um, look at in the comment section. I'll uh, I'll put a couple item numbers for eBay, and then all you do is copy those item numbers, paste them on the eBay search, and then that'll give you uh, some uh, links to the. It'll give you the the caddies. And then check your local GameStop, you know, buy, check your local Craigslist too. Maybe someone's got a broken Xbox 360 that they don't want anymore because it's got the red ring of death and then it's got a good hard drive. Maybe they'll sell you all of that together. You know, do your ser uh, your searches around your local area. But uh, good luck, have fun, and enjoy your games. Thanks.